Good afternoon. Today I want to talk to you guys about military children and how certain circumstances such as moving and war make these children some of the most unique children in the world. I am a military child myself. My father joined the military when I was seven years old in 1997. And um, since joining the military, my life really hasn't been the same. Um, I've dealt with many different experiences that most normal people never have to go through. Um, been to many different places, seen many different things. It's been a blessing. Um, I've gotten to uh, meet all different kinds of people and be embraced in different cultures. And it's also had its um, painful parts as well. Um, when my father joined the military, I really didn't know what to expect. I was just seven, eight years old, and one thing I knew about the military was that they wore camouflage uniforms and shot the bad guys. So when he joined the military and he got out of basic training, and he told me to pack up our bags and we would be leaving in a week. I was sort of mad. I had only lived um, in New York my entire life, so to be told that I would have to be uprooted and leave my family and friends was sort of uh, scary for me, but eventually I got over it. When I first moved, I was bitter and angry, but that passed within like a week after I got to the new school. You know, I realized everyone was in the same situation as I was, so um, they befriended me pretty quickly and within a week, I was fine. So this brings me to my first uh, major point. Um, military children move more than the average children. Um, according to an article by Lisa Finkel, there are approximately 1.2 million children living in military families, and these families tend to move typically every two to three years. Now, here on this map, all the dark shaded areas are areas in the world where military families can be stationed. As you can see, it goes all over um, America, Europe, of course, uh, the Middle East, parts of Asia, all over those places. So um, I really got to experience um, different cultures through this. Even in just America, moving from the north to the south was a big culture shock to me to see how different these things go down south. I wasn't accustomed to how, uh, I guess, slow things move down here compared to <laughs> up north, but it was um, a real big culture shock. I have lived um, myself in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Um, then my father was stationed in Walter Reed Medical Center in Washington, D.C. From there, we moved to Vicenza, Italy, and my family is currently now stationed in Fort Lee, Virginia, which is about two and a half hours east of here. Um, like I said, it was culture shock moving from the north and the south, and even more culture shock when I moved to Italy. Um, just being embraced in a culture that I didn't know the language and didn't know the customs in was sort of scary to me, but it really... Um, made me look at the world in a different way. You have to experience how um, different people look at America and how they see us as a country. And I made some great friends over there. So that was also a good thing that came out of it. Um, also another good thing is the food. I love to eat. So being around the world and even in the South, you guys make some good food. I'll tell you guys that much right now. Whoever's from the South in here, they make good food. So. Um, and then in Italy and the surrounding countries, I actually got to visit some of those countries as well, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, such as that. Got to eat some of the food that they have there. Um, actually got to eat pizza in Italy. I still think New York pizza is the best pizza in the world, but it really comes close to second. And then um, the third thing about moving is you get to meet so many different people from so many different backgrounds. Um, people that I probably would have never uh, spoken to if I hadn't been in a military family, I've made some of the best friends out of, you know, different cultures, different races, different backgrounds, everything. They've just um, taught me so much about life and how, um, how differently people see it from different perspectives. Um, but there are also um, hard parts of being in a military family. Um, according to a story posted in USA Today, the death toll in Iraq and Afghanistan is 4,996. Um, this is the painful part of living in a military family, dealing with the war that's going on right now. This picture actually up here is um, my best friend, Timothy Ray Lomoto. He was killed in action in 2007, serving his country. This is a chart of the death toll and how it um, rose from 2003 to 2008, so it's probably higher now. And um, this is a picture of some soldiers who were killed in action being sent back to the States in order to be buried in a cemetery there. And this is a hard part that many military children have to deal with. They have to um, deal with their mother, father, or sometimes even both parents being deployed at one time and not knowing when or if their parents will come back. And um, this
this can be very stressful on them. It can be very, you know, um, not knowing when your parents are coming back or if they'll come back is just a very hard thing to deal with. In conclusion, I hope that you guys have all um, been informed a little bit about the circumstances that military children have to go through daily. Uh, thank you and God bless you.